Hello, welcome to a problem discussion which is very similar to uh, an AMC problem from 2018. Uh, we have changed just the figure, the numbers given in the problem so, uh, so that you can try the actual problem on your own. So the problem says this uh, particular version of it says that we have a right angle triangle ABC which has side lengths A, B and C and A, B is 6, B, C is 8. Uh, certainly B, C could be longer in our picture. So maybe something like this. Now, this is the hypotenuse. It's a right angle triangle. That's what's given. Uh, now, what we have to do is we have to find out that if I drop a line from B to AC uh, so suppose this is D so if I drop a line from B to AC then uh, sometimes this line may have integer length at other times it will have non integer lengths so the question is uh, how many line segments can we draw from B to AC such that the length of that segment is an integer. So we want BD to have integer length. Uh, intuitively, we will be able to accomplish this problem uh, or the solution of this problem, but to rigorously achieve it, we need something called uh, intermediate value property intermediate value property uh, from calculus so that's an elementary calculus theorem uh, intuitively it will be cleared but as I say to make it rigorous we will need this uh, but let's first start with a hint uh, I don't want you to do the entire problem on the first video uh, so let me, let me give you a hint the hint is this uh, drop a perpendicular from B to AC suppose this is X so BX perpendicular to AC construct this and find its length find its length this could be an interesting experiment uh, and after you find the length of Bx, you can make some intuitive remark on how many times this Bd will be achieving integer value. Uh, use a little bit of imagination. Try dragging this point x. Imagine this point x to be moving. So it can slide along AC, maybe. And as you slide this X along AC, the length of BX changes. And it changes, it's, it's like a swing. It goes to the left, it goes to the right. And it achieves six to the left, it achieves eight to the light, right, the value of it. And uh, certainly, if, since BX is perpendicular to AC, since Bx is perpendicular to AC, it is the least distance, path of least distance from B to AC. That's another definition of perpendicularity. So, let me write that. Bx is the path of least distance or shortest distance from B to AC. So whenever you drag this point X to the left or right, you will get something larger than this value of BX. That's the central idea. Now try solving this problem on your own uh, and then we will go to the next uh, discussion. The link will be in the description. Thank you.